Hello everyone, my name is Silvio Costa and I'm a marketing intern at Cool Content. And of course, thank you very much for tuning in today. Uh, now I am joined by Lina Gustafsson, who is the owner and founder of Cool Content. And uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about the podcast, about what it means, what it is about, and uh, what you can expect from it. So uh, thanks a lot for joining me, Lina. How are you? Hello. I'm good, thank you. I'm glad to be here and glad to be doing this with you, actually. Oh, same. I'm, I'm really happy that, uh, that we have the opportunity to sit down and talk about this uh, and tell everyone what, uh, what we're doing here. Uh, should we begin by, by you giving us a brief introduction about yourself? Yeah. Uh, yeah, my name is Lena Gustafsson, and as you said, I, I run this company, Guldkanten, which is a coaching and consultancy agency. Uh, I have a background in, in leadership and uh, in working in small and medium-sized businesses, and, and I really have a heart for entrepreneurship and uh, development in working context, basically. So what I do for a living is that I help people explore and use the potential they have. And most of it I do as a coach at Guldkanten. I also have some own leadership assignments and, um, and I do consultancy and business advisory services. I see. Yeah, it sounds like you have uh, quite a lot of experience, to say the least. Mm, uh, can you please tell us a bit more about Guldkanten? So you mentioned coach, coaching already. Uh, and also training. Can mm -hmm. you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah, we we have a combination. The, the main product that Gold Canton is coaching, I myself am an ICF professional certified coach, and all the coaches working at Gold Canton are uh, certified by ICF, the International Coaching Federation. So good quality coaching is the core of our business. And uh, then adding on to that, we do workshops and we do training programs, and we do different kind of uh, uh, consultancy uh, consultancy tasks, basically. Mm -hmm. I understand. And what would you say are the values behind these, uh, these training programs and behind coaching? At Gullkanten, we have a core value that is about having work days that are filled with joy and energy and feeling that you are doing the right thing and you have the right resources to do so. And in doing this, we work with uh, developing people and developing teams and developing companies in different ways. And the basic value is that we see the golden nugget of potential in every person. And we speak to that potential and we work with that potential. I see. And from that golden nugget comes, uh, I suppose, the name of the company as well. Yeah, it does. And also in Sweden, there is a saying that every day should have a golden lining. And uh, we talk about um, uh, every work day should actually be not just every day gray, but a day that has this spark of you feeling that you are doing the right thing with the right resources. You are doing your best person at work. And that is what we mean by Guldkant. And we want everybody to feel that every day has this golden lining. Mm -hmm. oh, that's a really beautiful metaphor. And who, who are the people that you help uh, reach this golden edge? Well, um, there's a lot of different people on this golden edge. Basically, what, what connects them is that they are ambitious and often highly driven they are high performers they want to do a lot they want to balance on that golden edge they don't really settle for everyday gray they want something more then you can find these people in in small and medium-sized businesses they're often entrepreneurs but they are also employed in governmental institutions they are they are in ngos so they can be everywhere but they have this trait of of wanting to balance on the golden edge. I see. That, that's really interesting because uh, indeed I can imagine that these sort of professionals uh, can actually develop uh, what they're doing already and actually improve themselves. And um, mm -hmm. speaking of this, where do you think the podcast comes in? I think this podcast will be an interesting arena to listen in on different people and to listen in on different knowledges. As a coach, you spend your day listening to smart and brilliant people who present a problem or a challenge that they are facing. 
and we explore that and we clear it out and they figure out how to solve it. And then they take that solution and they go back into their lives and they test it and then they come back and tell us how it worked. So that means conversations can be really something that you can learn a lot from. And I like to have that kind of conversations where you listen in on someone and see what can I learn from this? What are their experience? What do they know? And this podcast, I think, will be a lot of golden conversations where you can listen in and see what does somebody else think about this that I am thinking of or challenged by? Good examples, others' experiences, things like that. Mm, I understand. Yeah, it really sounds uh, insightful. And, uh, of course, you you learn uh, most by talking to others, of course. Yeah. And I think that in this pod, there will be different hosts. Some of them will be hosted by me because I'm curious about something and I want to have a conversation with someone on a topic. Some of them will be hosted by my coaching colleagues at Gullkanten who have different topics in different areas that they want to explore. And a lot of them will be hosted by you as our trainee and starting up your career. I suppose that you have a lot of topics that you are a bit curious about. And uh, yeah, I would like to know what are you curious about? Uh, yeah, well, there's actually a lot of topics, so I would say. Um, one of them would be stress management. Um, I know a lot of colleagues and also myself uh, in very busy periods, uh, and I find it difficult to, to manage all, all the tasks, and uh, it would be interesting to listen more about that, to see how other people deal with it. Um, I can also imagine that conflict management uh, is a very interesting topic. Um, it's uh, of course very very useful to know how to manage all sorts of conflicts and uh, be able to make the most out of them ultimately um but also in today's world i feel like it's it's important to learn how to say no sometimes i feel like we're faced with a lot of opportunities and i would find it helpful to learn how to narrow things down and focus on one thing instead of chasing uh, basically everything that uh, comes in my horizon um i'd be interested in uh, negotiations. Uh, of course, this can be about uh, your employer or about any sort of negotiations, actually. But also creativity. I'm also interested in that, actually. How can you bring creativity into into work? Uh, I feel like creativity sounds a lot like art for, for most people, but I think it's interesting to see how you can translate that into, into your work. Mm. And then, of course, change, right? Because that's, I feel like, the uh, the word of the year. Uh, with the whole pandemic and uh, but I can imagine that there are a lot of changes for instance if you move to a different country uh, or even to a different job and I feel like these are all uh, important topics and uh, at least for me they would be really useful yeah interesting so I'm looking forward to shaking my network and finding interesting people to, for you to have conversations and then I will just listen in because I'm curious too about these topics <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm happy to hear yeah yeah I really think that we're going to be able to to talk to a lot of interesting people and hear a lot of interesting things. Yeah. Mm. And yeah. if if you were to sum it up, um, why do you think people should listen to the podcast? I think that this will be a podcast for people who, like you and I, are interested and curious about learning from other people, learning from other people's experience, and curious about how do we do things together in a good way what can we learn from each other and what can i develop in myself yeah i see yeah that, that matches my vision as well actually yeah. and then i guess some of them will be in english and some of them will be in swedish so if you're not swedish speaking already then maybe you want to take a swedish course because some of the conversations may be between swedish coaches and swedish clients and then they will be in swedish yeah, that's a, that's a really good point indeed. So this means that, uh, of course, also we can have um, a lot a lot more different people, so from different cultural backgrounds as well. So I think that's, yeah. uh, that will definitely be interesting and good to know for, for our listeners as well. Yeah, I think it would be a good idea. Uh, I think we want to bring people together from all over the world. My network goes around the globe, and I really look forward to introducing people from different parts of the world to to each other and to thinking in different parts. Yeah, I see. Yeah, and uh, I really think that the podcast is a perfect opportunity for that. So I'm really looking forward to, to making more episodes.
Yeah, cool. This will be fun. Yeah, it definitely will. So, uh, thanks, thanks a lot for listening, everyone. There are going to be more podcasts coming soon. So stay tuned, follow us on our social media, and uh, we'll catch you in the next podcast. Thanks a lot for listening.